welcome back to my channel i'm making a noise hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome my name is lisa Ngomo, and if you're a new subscriber i'm swallowing words <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to watch my video again it is i shot this intro video while i was at my place and it was upside down not even upside down like the camera was not facing me i was using the back camera for quality purposes but that didn't work so i'm not doing that again because next time i won't i'm not doing that again anyway i'm on my way to church i'm currently at home i came from my place to come home because i'm going with my brother and my little sister who's right there at the back and my brother just went out of the car so we are going to heritage sabbath heritage sabbath we will wrap up heritage month we will close off heritage month because the last day is a sabbath Ay! why am i making so much noise i look pretty I believe I look pretty. We are now now. See you on the other side. Um, it's labo. Hi hi. <laughs> Bye guys. Hi, Be that. ready. Okay, hi. Hi. <laughs> Likers of things. Likers of things. I love you. Hi hi. <laughs> Sun Lord. <laughs> By the rivers of Babylon, and there we sat as we went, as we remember some.
is my shepherd. And it closes off with, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Right? And that's all that matters about the psalm. Is that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you don't catch anything I'm going to say today, just remember this. If it is started by God, it is ended with God. If God begins it, God will finish it. And that's the point of the whole psalm. It is the fact that in, in, the, in the whole psalm, when you read the whole psalm, and I'll go through it just now, if you read the whole psalm, you, re you discover that everything else is temporary. Everything is temporary. The only thing that is permanent and is consistently there, it is God, right? He's the shepherd that makes sure the sheep does not want. He's the one who leads the sheep in green pastures. He's the one who leads the sheep down parts of righteousness through the quiet waters. He is the one who fetches the sheep in the dark valleys. He is the one who sets the table in the presence of the sheep's enemies. He is the one who discharges mercy and goodness to follow the sheep when he leaves the banquet table. And it is he is the one who has a house in which the sheep will dwell in forever and ever. So if you read the whole psalm, the one thing that is consistent from verse 1 right through to verse 4, it is the presence and the consistency of God. So it begins with God, it is carried by God, and it is ended by God. So your obedience to God is not to beg provisions from God. Your obedience to God is to position yourself for the provisions that God has already availed for you.